And now let me invite uh, UN Watch. Thank you, Mr. President. United Nations Watch welcomes the update by the Deputy High Commissioner. We are gravely concerned of the situation of human rights in Ukraine. Just last week, the world witnessed one of Russia's deadliest single missile strikes against a Ukrainian village with no military targets, killing 52 civilians. We are alarmed to see that between February and July 2023, OHCHR recorded 4,621 civilian casualties with more than 1,000 killed and 3,500 injured. Members of the Russian Armed Forces and Penitentiary Services have committed acts of conflict-related sexual violence. Of 56 Ukrainian servicemen interviewed by OHCHR in the reporting period, 51 described being subjected to torture and ill-treatment. Children from Donetsk, Kharkiv, Kherson, and Kiev regions are being transferred to other regions in Russian-occupied territory or deported to Russia or Belarus. Some children who had been sent to summer camps in Russia in summer 2022, with the purported consent of their parents, never returned. Likewise, the Commission of Inquiry documented attacks on residential buildings that caused civilian casualties, damage to key facilities, and the disruption of essential services and supplies. The Commission also found widespread and systematic use of torture by Russian armed forces against persons accused of being informants. Mr. President, on Thursday in New York, Russia's ambassador made an appeal for UN delegates to elect his government to this Human Rights Council in tomorrow's votes. For the reasons just outlined, we believe this would be a travesty of justice. I thank you. Thank you.